Stop doing your leg curls like this. A lot of you guys are feeling this in your lower back or your calves, which is ironic because this is supposed to be a hamstring exercise, bitch. <laughs> Two things we're going to do. When you sit with your back all the way against the pad, as the set becomes harder and your weight gets heavier, you wind up getting into this position where you're arching your lower back. And you're doing this because your back is in a position here where it can have leverage over the weight to help you perform this movement. But we don't want that. Keep your hips all the way against the pad. But then I want you to lean forward and hold on to these bars here. When you do this, you are taking any leverage leverage that your lower back had out of the equation and now placing all of the tension of the weight solely on your hamstrings. Be prepared to lower your weight. This is going to make it harder, but also kiss that lower back pain goodbye, baby. Now when you're in this position, I want you to get really comfortable releasing that weight slowly. Remember, this is where our muscles are being lengthened and we wanna get good at being able to carry the load here onto our hamstrings instead of just focusing on the contraction. You come down, pause for a second here to eliminate yourself from momentum. Think about the pad pushing up against your heels, but your heels still pushing down into the pad even as your legs lift up to really create a lot of tension during that stretch part of the movement. When you flex your feet, you are going to reduce the amount that your calves are involved, which again is going to allow you to place more tension onto your hamstrings. Hope it helps. Follow for more. Have a beautiful day.